Hey YouTube, thank you so much and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my newborn essentials to the zero to three months. T3 turned three months on July 18th and so many things has changed since I made my last video. So if you're interested in this video, then please keep on watching. If you like what you see, then please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And without further ado, let's get started into the video. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to say that you need, I mean, it's a basic essential. Everybody need it. You know, it's nothing. This is nothing that should be surprising to anybody. But you need Pampers. T3 just transitioned into a 2, so he is wearing a 2 now. And we've been using the Huggies. This one is the Huggies Pampers, the Snug and Dry. I like this brand a lot. I like the fact that it, it kind of scrunches up in the top around his bay area so when he has little blowouts it doesn't quite makes it out of his pamper it kind of like catches at the bottom and it also has a pocket which i discovered i guess that helps kind of keep the poop in so i really really like these and he has sensitive skin and i'll get more into that and um the closer we get to the skincare portion of the video but he does have sensitive skin and he has eczema and these work great for him so I like these as far as the Pampers is concerned. The next item that I'll say that that's an essential is another one that's, that shouldn't be surprising, and that is wipes. We currently are using the water wipes. Like I said before, T3 has very sensitive skin and he has eczema, and we've actually taken him to a dermatologist, and the dermatologist suggested we use either Pampers sensitive or water wipes, but we've actually been using the water wipes since he was first born. We have not used anything else on him but these, so we're still using the water wipes. And also something that I recognize um, as I go on and look at these products closely, that right here in this little corner, it says the National, National Eczema Association, meaning these wipes are good for um, babies with eczema so I thought that was kind of cool but it, it says it right here so we use those as far as wipes is concerned the next thing that you'll need and I live by these I don't go home I don't leave home without them I pack them in this diaper bag when he goes to my mom's house these are very very essential and it is white onesies I'm that mom that puts a white t-shirt on up under everything. I just feel like it's, it's essential if you need to dress the baby down or you need to give him breathing room, you need something to go under his cute little outfit you got. I think it's very necessary to have these ones. His T3 actually sleeps in these. He has some with prints on them, but for the most part, I buy him a lot of white ones just because nine times out of 10, I'm putting them under his clothes. So this is a this is definitely an essential. This is actually a muslin blanket that can be used for different things. I use this to wipe his mouth. I use it to lay it down in the um, bottom of a changing pad when I'm changing him. I use it to wrap him. I can use it to cover me when I'm breastfeeding him in public. It has so many uses, but. For this one in particular, I have been using it as a burp cloth. So I really, really like that because it's big and he spits up a lot. Like he spits up every time after I feed him. On your shoulder when you're burping him so that if he kind of burps or up just a little bit, nothing gets on your clothes. So I use that and we use bibs. Uh, I really, really like the bandana bibs. For him but recently I've discovered that when I put it on him sometimes he itches in it it bothers his neck so I every now and then I'll still use them but for the most part I use this one that kind of has that little droop a little bit so these are very 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 essential I I keep about three or four of these of each in the diaper bag because we grow through them like crazy I have discovered now that my baby is starting to teethe, which I didn't even know you could start teething at three months, but my pediatrician did tell me based on him spit bubbling and gnawing on his hand, he is starting to teethe. So that's definitely important to keep his clothes. Okay, now, now we're gonna move into 
well, I would just call it skincare. Like I said before, T3 does have eczema. He has it pretty bad. Um, well, the dermatologist said it was mild. To me, it looks bad because it's caused his skin on his belly and in his pamper area to discolor. So, um, and he have occasional flare up. So, if you watch my video on my newborn bath time routine, you know that I was using the Aveeno, um, the Aveeno eczema line. So it worked for a little bit and then it started to just make his skin worse. Like it's like within a couple of days his skin just started getting worse. And I'm like, I didn't change my routine, I didn't do anything, I didn't add anything different. I just couldn't figure out why his skin kept getting worse. So we ended up taking him to the pediatrician and the pediatrician referred us to a dermatologist. So we went to the dermatologist and she told us that, you know, cause the, the pediatrician actually told me that it was cradle cap. Now he did have cradle cap and I cleared that up, but she was saying that it was seborrhea, which is cradle cap all over his body. <clears throat> that didn't seem right to me, but I went along with it and they recommended that I use something called Vanna cream. And I did, and Vanna cream looks like this. It's for sensitive skin and if you've used Vanna Cream before, you know that this is not cheap. But because his skin had gotten so bad, I went out and I brought the cream, I brought the shampoo, I brought the um, the soap, I brought the whole line because I was trying to. Because she said use strictly Vanna Cream. Well, I used it for about two or three weeks. Nothing really changed with his skin. So at that time, I started to get frustrated. I said, okay, that is when she referred me to the dermatologist. And we went up to the dermatologist and she told me about um, CeraVe, which is what we're using now. And it looks like this. This this one in particular is the CeraVe Itch Relief Moisturizing Cream. Best thing ever. Best thing ever. And with this, with the Vanna Cream, I had to search online because not many stores carried it. And the reason why the dermatologist, the dermatologist was telling me the reason why the Vanna cream was not working is because it lacks ceramide, and ceramide is something essential for clearing eczema or for maintaining or controlling eczema. Vanna cream did not have um, ceramide in it, and neither did my Aveeno products, and that is why his eczema got worse and did not clear up. So. She what she did was she prescribed him a hydrocortisone cream, which he only could use for two weeks because that's not safe for babies to use consistently long term. So she did she gave me a hydrocortisone cream and she gave me an antifungal cream because it still had just a little bit of cradle cap in the back of his head and he would he would like rub his head because it itch really bad and then in turn he'll get red. So she did give me an antifungal cream for that. <clears throat> And then she gave me a list of products to use and she highly, highly recommended the CeraVe. Best decision ever. I'm actually, we're actually going back on Tuesday, you know, just for a follow up because his skin has gotten much better, but he still has the discoloration, which I've been told that, you know, it's just going to take time to clear up, but we're still going to keep our appointment and go back and just let them take a look at him again. But the CeraVe line is awesome. I, you, I was putting the hydrocortisone cream on him and then I started using the CeraVe and in turn, I am a mom, I was frustrated. So I went out and I bought just about everything from the CeraVe line. And this time it wasn't a waste of money like I felt like the Vanna cream was. <clears throat> so what I do now, because his skin, because his skin is very, very dry, I use the CeraVe itch moisturizing cream and then I layer it with the CeraVe healing ointment and it looks like this and it feels like a like a Vaseline but I'll put that on him and then I'll put the CeraVe healing ointment and I do it just about every single time I change this diaper because like I said he has severe dry skin so these two work wonders his skin was very rough and bumpy even when i was putting the vanna cream on there and that aggravated me too because I, i'm just a believer that baby skin is supposed to be soft and smooth and his skin was just not like that until i started using these this combination skin feels so good 
so much better. So I was very relieved. I still will use the hydrocortisone cream sparingly. Occasionally he'll have a little flare up, like say for instance, if he goes to my mom's house or someone else holds him and they have perfume or they have on, you know, they wash their clothes with something scented, he will get a flare up and I will put the hydrocortisone cream on it and then continue with this and it controls it and it controls it very very well so i have been very pleased so i went to the dermatologist and these these products are very easy to find just about everywhere have them target walmart walgreens cvs just about everybody carry this line so that was a plus as well also as far as washing his hair i still use a little bit of the olive oil let it sit but i don't use the aveeno now i use the cerave baby washing shampoo and it works good for his hair <clears throat> also the dermatologist recommended that i use i can use cetaphil so i did get that but she her number one pick was the cerave so I bought more CeraVe products and I did Cetaphil and what I do is I put some of the Cetaphil products in my mom's diaper bag because my mom babysits him while I work. So I put the Cetaphil, Cetaphil moisturizing creams and stuff in her bag and it that still works for him as well. So, But these two products are awesome because they both have ceramide in it which like I said helps control eczema so it has been working well for us lately so i'm gonna do an updated video on his wash routine using all the products uh, it's probably gonna be like sometime next month but like i said everything has changed just about from the video that i done about his bath routine so very i'm very very pleased with the progress that he's made using these products and if your baby has eczema or you're battling with eczema and you have not tried any of those please try the cerave try the cerave and because my and get the kind especially if your baby itches get the cerave itch moisturizing relief because that that really helps him and it's steroid free so it what you know it won't cause any harm to your baby so they do have a CeraVe baby brand that um, has heel anointment and they look like this. I just feel like it works, but I just feel like this one for the adults works so much better. And like I said, both of these, they, this is safe for your baby as well, but they do have, if you rather use something with baby on it, they do have the baby CeraVe heel anointment and it looks like this. So also at now whenever he gets out of the tub and when i wash his hair i still use a little bit of olive oil i used to use moroccan argan oil but the doctor suggest the dermatologist suggests that i stick to olive oil because it's more on the natural side so i spray his hair with this palmer's olive oil conditioning spray oil and i just kind of really like just little light spritz and i kind of just work my hands through his hair and it works good and it kind of makes his little curls pop too so that's what i use as far as his hair and that's all i use i'll use the shampoo and then i'll put this on after and it makes his curls pop and he's good to go due to t3 teething i use the children's tylenol and this is the cvs brand because T3 is over 12 pounds, I can give him 2.5 mLs. And I don't give it to him every day. I just give it to him whenever he's really, really fussy and nothing's helping. Also, I use the Mummy's Bliss Grunt Water. I really don't use that a whole lot either. I mainly use it whenever he gets hiccups. And they just, because when he gets hiccups, he gets so mad. Like he does not like hiccups. So usually I give him a little bit of this. And I think I give him 5 milliliters and it usually takes care of the hiccups. So these are necessary. I don't go anywhere with, without these in my bag. <clears throat> also, because I am a breastfeeding mom, they tell you, or you're, you're, I'm pretty sure by now, if your baby is three months, you know that you're supposed to use vitamin D drops because the baby does not get vitamin D through breast milk. So. The one that we got is the Baby D Drops Liquid Vitamin D3. And you can pick this up at any store. I got this one from CVS. So 
it's been working well for him and that's what we use we just give him one drop on his tongue a day or either i'll take one drop and put it on my breast and let him suck it off but this is something we use every single day as long as we're breastfeeding so that is an essential if you are a breastfeeding mom i also have malacan drops i haven't given him these in a while but i still keep one just in case the right water doesn't work because it says that the right water is good it's natural but it's good for gases gassiness fussiness hiccups and colic so most of the time i'll give him this because it's more on the natural side but i do have the malacan drops in my bag just in case i do feel like it's an essential even though i don't use it because you never know when the right water don't work you have the malacan to fall back on that's just me so that's that also something i meant to mention while i was talking about his onesies but t3's feet gets really cold at night so i do put him on socks most of the time whenever we go out he he has on socks every now and then i put him on shoes but he tends to kick them off so socks is definitely an essential some people will tell you socks is not an essential, but to me, I just feel like your baby needs socks, especially in the winter months. So socks is another essential item for him. For to keep to keep his teeth and toys clean, I usually use these pacifier wipes. This one is fruit flavor and it is the parents' choice brand. So works really well. I just get them and wipe them off. And also when I stick it back in his mouth, the flavor from the white kind of tastes good to him. This is the little teething, teething pacifier. It looks like this, has a little top on it, but see, it looks like an indention. It's got little indentions on it to help kind of soothe and massage his gum. So he really likes that and I keep that in his bag. Also, every blue moon he may use this teething ring now i don't put it in the freezer because i heard that with would you putting teething toys in the freezer and giving them to the baby it could cause them to get freezer burn on their gums so i don't put it in the freezer but i will occasionally put it in the refrigerator so it get just a little bit cold cold enough to numb his gums and then i'll give it to him but i don't freeze it completely and that kind of helps keep him occupied for a little bit as well so these are those are the two teething toys that he like all of the other ones that i've tried i've tried keys i've tried i he bite on a wash rag every now and then but he get bored with that um so i found that the ring helps occasionally but the pacifier definitely helps so those are the two those are the two essentials for his teething Another thing I didn't mention, but I haven't mentioned yet because it's big, but it's very, I would consider it an essential. It is a little pricey, but he loves this thing. It has worked for him since he was a newborn, you know, coming home from the hospital. That's the Docotide. The Docotide is definitely an essential. It You can take it pretty much wherever you want to take it you i usually put it in his bassinet because the bass i have the halo bassinet and it's kind of open so when he lays in it he don't feel anything and he likes to feel somebody close to him so the doctor type kind of kind of cradles him and makes him feel like someone is there and he will sleep all night in that thing so i would definitely say the doctor type is a newborn mm -hmm. essential you need a swing and the one we have is the, I think it's the Graco 3-in-1 swing. It's just the basic swing back and forth. And it plays music. Um, and it just swings. It swings. And it does the job for him. I'll insert a clip. I think I have a clip of him swinging in it. But he likes it pretty well. He'll stay in it for anywhere from between 20 and 30 minutes. And then he's ready to be picked up. But that's, that's because um, he's used to being in laps. But as far as the swing is concerned, he do like the swing and he will sit in it for a while. So if you need something to put your baby in while you maybe clean up or get a few things done around the house, a swing is a newborn essential. So I would say get that. 
also another essential for me because I have the swing and I also have the bouncer and the one that I have here is the Fisher Price bouncer it looks like that it's kind of hard to show it all into the camera but the Fisher Price bouncer I can usually put that on the table I can put it on the counter I can put it on the couch so it kind of be eye level with me and he'll sit there and it comes with like some toys at the top that you can that he can kind of play with so he'll sit there he'll sit here and that a little bit longer than he will in the swing but the thing about the bouncer is you can kind of move it around the house with you the swing that I have you can't really move that it's, it's more stationary so the bouncer is also an essential in my opinion now do you need both you don't but for me and my lifestyle I feel like having both is is very necessary so that's that the next thing that I would say is an essential and I don't have it it's in my in the trunk of my car because we use it when we go out but a car seat and a stroller a car seat that the, that attaches to a stroller to me that's essential because when you're going out somewhere especially if you're by yourself and you've got your baby bag and you've got your car seat you don't want to get out and have to take your baby out of the car seat and put him into the stroller especially if he's sleeping you want something you can just take him lift him up out of the car and boop attach it to the car seat i mean attach it to the stroller and the one that we have is the nuna the 2019 or 2018 nuna tavo absolutely love it the stroller is so smooth the only regret that i have about it is whenever he comes out of his actual car seat he'll be facing for he won't be facing towards me and i'm kind of iffy about that because he spits up so much and i don't want him to be choking and me not know it but other than that the car seat and stroller and they have plenty of car seat and stroller combos you don't have to get that one in particular but i just i really really enjoy the Nuna Tavo so so that's that also something I meant to mention while I was talking about his onesies but T3's feet gets really cold at night so I do put him on socks most of the time whenever we go out he hit he has on socks every now and then I put him on shoes but he tends to kick them off so socks is definitely an essential some people will tell you socks is not an essential, but to me, I just feel like you baby need socks, especially in the winter months. So socks is another essential item for him. For his diaper area, I use the baby healing Vaseline. Every now and then I'll put, I'll mix it and put a little bit of his healing ointment on his bottom just in case. But for the most part, I use just plain old Vaseline and it works well. Okay, speaking of teething, T3 does not like many teething toys. So I have found a pacifier and I can't find it. Oh, it's in, it's in, in his room. This is the little teething, teething pacifier. It looks like this, has a little top on it, but see, it looks like an indention. It's got little indentions on it to help kind of soothe and massage his gums so he really likes that and I keep that in his bag also every blue moon he may use this teething ring now I don't put it in the freezer because I heard that with would you putting teething toys in the freezer and giving them to the baby it could cause them to get freezer burn on their gums so I don't put it in the freezer, but I will occasionally put it in the refrigerator so it get just a little bit cold, cold enough to numb his gums, and then I'll give it to him, but I don't freeze it completely. And that kind of helps keep him occupied for a little bit as well. So these are those are the two teething toys that he likes. All of the other ones that I've tried, I've tried keys. I've tried, I he bite on a wash rag every now and then, but he get bored with that. Um, so I found that the ring helps occasionally, but the pacifier definitely helps. So those are the two, those are the two essentials for his teething. The next item that I would say 
that is essential for a baby and I feel like it's not even necessarily a newborn essential it's an essential for a kid period if you have one no matter at least up until three or four and that is a diaper bag and the one I have is the freshly picked diaper bag and I also have my little um sanitizer right here but I like this one because it's a backpack I know if you watch my um my baby haul I had the honest company diaper bag which my mom uses that one now and it's the kind that you put on your shoulder I really 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 like that bag but whenever the baby got here and I started having to go here there everywhere I quickly learned that a backpack is more essential than a bag you put on your shoulder so I really really like this and pretty soon I'm going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag video so please stay tuned for that but definitely in this video and if you like mummy videos if you like lifestyle videos if you like beauty videos then please please come back and hang out with me and i'll see you guys in another video bye